All right, so in this video, we're going to try to shortcut you through how to connect to a MongoDB database with Node.js uh, using Express.js and Mongoose, uh, which are two of the most popular frameworks for doing this thing. So uh, that's what we're going to do. Uh, if you missed my intro to Node.js and Express.js, I'll put that in the description. Uh, and so what I've done is I've generated an Express.js app here, pretty much straight up, just has one route so far, which says OK. Uh, so let's go ahead and install Mongoose. So npm install s because we want to save it to our package, Mongoose. There we go. And Mongoose is kind of like your most popular ORM for uh, Mongo. So that's good. Mongoose is installed. I'm going to go nodemon app.js. Uh, so now it's going to be rebooting my app.js. And should be good? Yep, great. OK, so no, Mongoose is installed in node modules. Saving it to the package. Awesome. OK, let's go ahead and then require Mongoose. Equals require. There we go. So now Mongoose is in. The first thing we're going to do is create our connection. I'm going to do this in development only since I'm just connecting to my development server here because uh, you'll probably have a different database for different environments. If not, then just, you know, do it. You don't have to do it in development here. So mongoose.connect. Very simple. And my server is running locally at 55.55.55.5 and my DB is called Mongo probably could have come up with a better DB name, but oh well, I decided my test DB would be called Mongo. So let's save that. And I'm running, no issues, nothing broke. Excellent. Let's go ahead and move on now and actually create our first thing. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create models, kind of like you would with Backbone.js if you're from a front-end background. You create a model and then you use that model. The model also kind of doubles as a collection in a lot of ways. So we're going to go Mongoose we're defining a model right now is what we're doing. So users, and then here's where you give it your schema. You can either give it an object right here, or you can actually create a new user schema. For right now, we're just going to go object. So basically all we have is name, and that's a string. There you go. And so now I've defined a model called users. And what that's actually going to do is look for the users collection. So if I go app.getUsers, this kind of makes a little more sense here. Then I can go mongoose model. I can now access that model. So even if this was defined in a different file, I can access it. Find. And then my function is going to have error and users, if the users indeed are correct. So once that's found them, then I can res.send users. Let's see if that works. Whoops, because we're not going to users. There you go. And now I've got my three users, me, my wife, and John Travolta. So let's go ahead and make one for posts. I have two schemas going on right now, two collections. I have a users and a posts, which has completely basic posts going on. Uh, so let's go ahead and define our second model here, which would be posts. And this one has content, and content is also a string. So there we go, and this will be mongoose model posts now. It's basically the exact same thing as you can see. So now if I do get posts, I'm going to access the model posts, which I defined up there. And on successful find, we are going to send the posts. So here we go. Let's check it out. And I didn't save my file. <laughs> there you go. So now I've got my two posts. Oh, I also have a user on there. So user, um, well, let's, before we go any further with the schema, we'll go ahead and look at how to redo our app. Uh, you'll notice I'm, I'm doing all these routes right here in the app.js. I'm just doing that for the simplicity of the tutorial. It's definitely a better idea to have your routes in their own routes file slash routes files. Uh, same thing with models. We do not want to be doing all this logic here in the app.js file. So let's go ahead and make a new folder. We'll call this models. Everybody wants to work with models for a living. Uh, let's see. Okay, so this will be called users. Nope. Well, how about we just save it? Users.js. There we go. So let's go ahead and take this out of here. And let's go. There we go. And we're also going to go schema, which we already loaded in with Mongoose. 
There you go. That'll help us generate a new schema. So now we can do this. We can go users schema. Oops, new schema. And then we just do the object exactly like we would have done. And we go mongoose.model. We're going to define this. And we're going to give it user schema. So that's all we're going to do in the user's model now. And so the schema will be name string. And then that's pretty much all we got for now. Name. Ha. There you go. So that's the user's one. And let's go ahead and copy and paste this. Create a new file. And this one will be called, what was that other one? Posts. Posts. And then we'll call this post schema. And so we have content, which is a string. And then we also, in our posts, we have a user field, which is the user ID. So this is going to go, and we actually, this type is not a string, it's a object ID. But you can't do object ID because JavaScript doesn't have that as a type. But schema object has it as a type. So we're going to go schema.objectID, and that's how we can access that. So this is our schema for our content right now. Literally all we have is the body and the user that wrote it. So there we go, that's our post file. And now these aren't getting required anywhere. I can dump those. So now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to write some sort of basic little file thing uh, that helps us require in everything in the models folder. So we're going to load in the FS, which is the file system library. Uh, and we're just going to go down here. fs.read drr sync. It's okay to do sync because this is happening, you know, on the startup of our app. It's only going to happen once. Dir name is our current directory, and then so that's loading the directory, and then we're going to go loop through it. And that's going to grab our file name, and so we're going to go if. If it's a JS file, probably overkill, but oh well, we'll do it anyway. Nav capital, okay. And there you go. So that's loaded in. Um, and then, so that should go through our entire directory and load them all up. Let's make sure we don't have any errors here. Everything's still working awesome. Great. So what we're going to do is, if I flew through that too fast, we're going to load up every model that's in our models directory when we load up our app. Um, and now we can just access them because they're already registered in Mongoose. So we can go posts and get our posts. We can go users and get our users. Uh, and so another thing you can do is you can access posts by ID. I'm not going to go too much into how to use Mongo because that's definitely its own tutorial but let's say user ID here post by user ID we can do this instead user is uh, da, 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 da. user ID so let's see what's a user ID here uh, there we go I can grab my user ID And then let's make sure I save this. So now I can go posts by that ID. And so I only have one post. Um, I can't let me go back to users and grab Laura Stern's ID. I think I made a fake post for her. Didn't make any posts for John Travolta though, did I? I'm missing out on that one. Okay, another cool thing that we can do is we can actually attach uh, with Mongoose the entire user object here if we want to. So say we're grabbing the posts and, you know, let's just trim it down let's also grab the user object on there well that's easily done um, we can grab the user object by just going I will keep the post by user ID um, there we go and so what I will do here is once we're done getting the posts okay so we've gotten the posts I'm gonna get this model again and I'm going to dot do a dot populate and I'm going to give it the posts I'm populating, which it comes from here. I'm going to go full screen here for a second so you can see it. So once my post finds, once my posts are all found, they're called posts right here. 
then I'm going to actually populate my posts and the path I want to populate is called user. And there we go. And then same thing. This is going to get into a, uh, another callback. You guys are probably noticing that there's a lot of callbacks starting to happen. Two levels of callbacks is about as far as I want to go because then you start getting what they call callback hell. Um, and there's ways around that. I'll probably do that in the next video here. So now I'm grabbing posts, and once I've grabbed the posts, I'm going to populate the user path as well. Let's save that, see if it worked, see if I made any mistakes. And it says the user is null, uh, probably because I did not handle that schema correctly. User is schema.objectID. Yeah, I want to figure out what's up with that. Oh yeah, I know what the, I know. What I did wrong here. Um, user is actually an object. Sorry about that. Schemas aren't the things you write every day, so every once in a while you forget what to do. So the type is an object ID when you're doing an actual object, and the ref, you have to give it a ref. There we go. That should work. There we are. So I'll make sure uh, I put this code on something and put it in the uh, description so you guys can actually get a link to this so you can't forget it. So there we go, I've now grabbed my related user, and that's about it. So that's pretty much how you connect to a MongoDB database with Mongoose, and thanks for watching.